Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 19. Now we have a lot of talk about here. iOS 19 is actually getting very close to the release on its first beta and it's really exciting as this is the year when we finally get a total redesign of iOS and this has now been confirmed and it's coming at WWDC 2025, which is actually very, very exciting and it's even better bigger than iOS 7. So a complete overhaul of iOS is expected to be released and that's really exciting. Now, first off, let's go ahead and take a look at this iOS 19 prototype, which is really, really cool. Now, this has been created by Shane. I will leave it linked right down below if you want to go ahead and give it a try. It's actually pretty awesome. So you can see right here an interface of the home screen. This is, of course, always based on everything that we have heard so far, all the rumors, all the reports regarding the new features and changes that are coming to iOS 19. Now you can expect maybe something similar. Circle icons will be most likely an option for iOS 19. I don't think Apple will move on to just circle icons. Most likely you will have it as an option. Just like currently we have a few options here for the icons. When you go to actually customize them, it should be one of the options right here to switch to circle icons because I don't think Apple will just move to the circle icons completely and there will also be new designs for icons as well this is of course based on the report by mark grooman so everything will be new with ios 19. now this is of course a prototype and just something to basically like get a glimpse of what it could look like and we have of course a few things here so i can open the settings app here see how it looks of course based on everything that we heard apple is moving towards like a vision os style for ios 19 and this is something it might look like and if we go back here we can also open the camera app you can see here the design that we talked about this like glass effect here which is pretty awesome now this is something that has been reported for a while now the new camera app coming to ios 19 but it basically will be everything new not just the camera app everything all the apps will be redesigned and we have also here like a quick look to the music app you can see how cool this looks and this like banner right here where we have all kinds of like different sections of the app that might be a thing with other apps as well so it's actually very very nice to just basically take a look at this prototype here and see on first hand how ios 19 might actually look on our devices even though i believe there will be a lot more changes and it will be of course much much better than what we know now and what we have seen in the recent days now what I'm talking about here are a few rumors, a few like leaks that have been going around on the internet right now, a few like screenshots of iOS 19 and this explains it very very well like this tweet by Mark Grumman which basically shows you a picture right there it looks just like iOS 6 with a few minor changes and then right here it says iOS 19 images floating around aren't representative of what we'll see at WWDC 2025 of course so based on this he shows this picture and this is actually a picture of iOS 7 six months before it was released. This is how it looked like on the leak and you know what happened. It was totally different, way different from this one. So even with everything that we have seen on the internet currently, we will get iOS 19 looking totally different. Of course, it will be much, much better and much different than the current iOS 18. And we can also see that on this tweet that was earlier released this month by Mark Grumman on his report. Of course, this is our very trusted source when it comes to Apple related stuff. He says that Apple plans one of the biggest software overhauls in its history for iOS 19, iPadOS 19 and Mac OS looking to revamp its operating system for a new generation of users. And right here, changes will go beyond a new coat of paint like iOS 7. This is a fundamental revamp focusing on apps, icons, windows, buttons, and system navigation. So basically everything that we know currently will be different with iOS 19, a totally different interface, a totally different operating system on your device. So everything will change and that's great. We have been actually waiting for that. We have been hoping that we will get a redesign for the last few years now, and we're finally getting it this year with iOS 19. 
and not just the redesign of course there will be a ton more features some of them that we know that are coming to ios 19 or of course the new siri we have actually been expecting this to happen with ios 18 18.3 actually then 18.4 we had been waiting it for 18.5, but it looks like Apple has just given up on releasing the new series with iOS 18, and that now is a part of iOS 19. Now we're talking about like personalized Siri, the ability to basically Siri make actions within apps, and also the ability for Siri to have screen awareness so it knows what's on the screen and you can interact with it. These are cool new features that will of course make Siri much, much better. And those are part of iOS 19 as well. Also new with iOS 19 will be Apple intelligence expansion to more apps. Now, according to Mark Grumman, the Apple intelligence features will expand to more apps. So Apple is focusing on expanding these features to their apps the default apps of iPhone and not just try to add other features that you cannot actually use with most of the apps because currently you know you can use the Apple intelligence features only on the few apps you will have the notes app some smart replies here and there but most of the apps actually don't have anything to do with Apple intelligence so currently we have of course most of them will be on the playground app and we have them on the notes app smart replies for email and messages you will have cleanup on your photos and now with ios 18.4 we have summarized reviews on the apps on the app store and nothing else of course anywhere else you go you won't have any of these features now with ios 19 ai is actually expanding to more iphone apps now here's another pretty cool one Apple is planning a new AirPods feature for iOS 19, and this will actually enable live translation for conversations. These are features that are similar to Google Pixel Buds and other AirPods. So basically, you're having a conversation. Your AirPods with iOS 19 will be able to, in real time, translate what the other person that you're, you're having a conversation with is talking. So that's really awesome. Another feature that we know is coming to iOS 19 is end-to-end -end encryption for RCS messaging with iOS. So if you use that feature with the update to iOS 19, you will get now the end-to-end -end encryption, which is of course very important for the privacy of the senders and users of those messages. Now, one of the coolest things when it comes to iOS 19, despite the complete redesign, is this right here. It will support the exact same devices as iOS 18. So, starting from the iPhone XR, XS, XS Max, the iPhone 11, and of course the 11 Pro series, all the way to the newer devices, all the devices that currently support iOS 9, 18 will also support iOS 19. So that's actually amazing news. Of course, with all the cool new features, the redesign and all that, all the users will actually be able to enjoy this new design and this new operating system on their devices. And that's really awesome. And last but not least, let's talk about the release date. Well, now we have a confirmation from Apple. This is now official. iOS 19 Beta 1 will be released on June 9th. Now, here we have a press release talking about the WWDC conference. And you can see this design here indicating the new redesign of iOS 19. That is pretty awesome. So, the conference will start June 9th, and that's the first day, of course. And as usual, on the first day, we get the new iOS release. iOS 19 Beta 1, iPad OS 19 Beta 1 will be released that day to the devs. And most likely, a few weeks after, we will get the first public beta as well. So, with that being said, of course, iOS 19 Beta 1 for the devs on the 9th. Then right here on the 23rd or the 24th will be the second beta. Then I would expect the third beta right here and most likely the public beta of iOS 19 should be right here on the 14th of 5th or the 15th of July. That's the timeline that I'm expecting about this release. And then of course, sometime in September right here or right here 15th or the 22nd of september should be the dates that apple releases ios 19 to the public so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash that like button and of course subscribe for more videos and i'll see you on the next one